In my ongoing quest to help people realize their absolute best metabolic health, I've increasingly recommended a continuous glucose monitor, a CGM, that's typically applied to the back of the arm, but it can be applied to different places on your body. But it gives you minute by minute updates on what your blood sugar is doing. And you can use a continuous glucose monitor to get immediate feedback as to what the food you just ate did to your blood sugar. Also, what high levels of stress did to your blood sugar. Also, if you lost sleep the night before, what does that do to your blood sugar? Also, there's a hundred other things that can affect your blood sugar and a CGM can give you up to 1400 readings in a 24 hour period. So why would healthcare providers not want someone who's metabolically unhealthy to have this vital information? Ah, oh, that is a mystery, but increasingly we're seeing pushback from prominent healthcare providers on Twitter and other social media saying, you don't need a CGM. This is, this is ridiculous. There's a shortage of CGMs. Uh, no, there's not a shortage. Many of the manufacturers are happy that people are using them because they make money. Now, I'm not affiliated with any CGM company. I don't make a penny off this information that I'm giving you. But I do want you to understand that if you fall within the following categories, you absolutely need a continuous glucose monitor to find out if you're eating the right foods or if you're eating the wrong foods and increasing your chances of becoming an uncontrolled type 2 diabetic. So here's a partial list of people who need a CGM for at least a while, maybe not for the rest of your life, but you need a CGM for a month or two so you can learn what your foods that you're currently eating due to your blood sugar and eliminate the foods that cause blood sugar spikes. If you have type one diabetes or type two diabetes, you're going to benefit immensely from having a continuous glucose monitor. Also, if you have pre-diabetes or if you have metabolic syndrome or if you have hypertension or if you have high triglycerides, any of these people are gonna benefit greatly from knowing what their blood sugar does after they eat certain foods. Type two diabetes isn't caused by mysterious little green men from Mars. It's caused by the foods that you eat. And it can also be avoided by avoiding the foods that give you crazy blood sugar spikes. Now I put at the end of this, uh, in the show notes, a video that shows you how to apply a CGM. It's almost painless. The only pain is gonna come from potentially paying for it and potentially from getting a prescription or order from your primary healthcare provider so that you can pick one up at the pharmacy. If you know someone who meets this criteria for needing a CGM, please share this video with them so they don't continue down the road straight towards type two diabetes. This is Dr. Barry, I'll see you next time.